everyone welcome back to my channel it's Grazie and today we are back with a travel vlog ah! I'm so excited to be going away again of course I'll be bringing you guys along every time I go away on a trip I feel like I have to treat myself to some new underwear it's been a tradition for like the past three years so this time I picked up some bits from lounge underwear and thank you so much to lounge for sponsoring this portion of the video I'm so excited because it literally came at the perfect timing I've literally just finished packing so these are going to be my last final bits to go into my suitcase so let me show you guys what I picked up from lounge underwear first of all their packaging is so adorable <gasps> wait ASMR <laughs> first of all the way the box came literally gift wrapped with a bow I love to see it um, and inside the pieces are individually wrapped I did not expect that no the packaging <gasps> stunning the packaging is also made from 100 percent recycled plastic which i really really appreciate i love it when brands actually go out of their way to try and be more sustainable i know it's a lot more effort but we love a brand that cares about the planet you know <gasps> okay this was the piece i was most excited about <gasps> are we seeing the details are we seeing the details okay yeah it's made from a power stretch mesh fabric and the embroidery just gives like elegance oh my gosh and it even has it even has this cute little bow with like an l charm for lounge i love this the sheet is so gorgeous and the shade of pink with the touch of red obsessed she also comes with this matching underwear i'm sorry but the detail on this is just too much in paired together this is the dream set like i'm obsessed no 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 so she is called the pink bloom balcony bra oh, chef's kiss she is absolutely gorgeous and when you wear like a gorgeous matching set underneath you know it just gives you that boost of confidence it just shows from the inside out obsessed i also got this sheer floral blue set as well she looks like this up close she just has some daisies embroidered all around and she is just so pretty it gives very much cottage core like she is absolutely gorgeous i am obsessed like the the pastel blue with the touch of yellow and white she's stunning i'm sorry but my underwear drawer is about to look so gorgeous and these are so perfect for spring coming up as well of course i'll be linking every single piece in the description box yeah, i love how everything is individually packed as well because it feels like a christmas present every time i open like a new piece oh so satisfying okay as much as i love the colors of course i had to get a practical bra this is the charmed balcony bra in black i love the lace detailing on her and she also has that signature lounge trim at the back these bras are so comfortable and again of course i have to get the matching set because there's nothing that makes me feel more feminine than a matching set under my clothes next we have the desire balcony bra can you tell i love balcony bras <laughs> she is just so precious it comes with this like shimmery gold detailing on the lace as well which is a really nice touch and also has that lounge detailing on the bottom with this like scalloped trim so pretty this is what her matching set looks like so so gorgeous i love how much options they have on the website especially because i'm obviously well endowed and sometimes i find it hard to find like brands that have bigger sizes but also have like an array of designs and array of um pieces that are actually in stock as well they were so pleasantly surprised to see that every single piece was in stock in the larger sizes as well i just love that so i feel like lounge is going to be my new go-to underwear brand like i'm obsessed so they don't just have the pretty um lace pieces they also have some practical everyday pieces and i'm wearing one of them right now this is part of their belly there collection and this is their bralette which guys when i say the girlies are supported and there's no underwire like bralettes i are my go-to for like every day when i'm like lounging around the house or when i'm running errands and the fact when i tell you the fabric let me show you properly you can even tell on camera like it's it's like so buttery soft and it's super stretchy it even has this mesh insert at the back it really 
breathable mesh inside at the back to just give that extra support so lightweight and the straps are seamless as well as you can see so, so they don't dig when you wear them for a long time i'm just i feel like they thought about everything the belly bear collection also come with matching sets and they come in three different colors whoever at lounge came up with these belly bear sets needs a raise immediately because you guys always ask me what bras i wear and eight times out of ten i don't really wear bras but these have converted me i just can't like the the fabric you have to feel it for yourself so i'm definitely going to link it in the description box for you guys try it and let me know how you get on trust me when i say you will not be disappointed okay thank you so much lounge for introducing me to your gorgeous pieces i am a new convert 10 out of 10 would recommend so thank you so much again to lounge for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's get into the vlog come with us as we fly business class for the first time you guys are on the flight just deep in our lives like what is going on we were so gassed as soon as we got on the flight we offered this champagne talk about good service clink clink honeys we were also gifted this hamper full of bulgari lotion hand cream a hairbrush a mirror toothbrush toothpaste eye mask like oh and then this lovely lady came around some hot towels and transformed our bed for us because it was a nighttime flight turned it into a bed we had a mattress a duvet listen this is the life ordered this mojito mocktail please tell me why it was better than the mocktails i've had on land my starter was a prawn salad which was so good considering i'm not even a seafood girly 10 out of 10 this chicken and mash main was okay nothing to write home about but this dessert this dessert was one of the best desserts i've ever had honestly add it to my death row meal then i went to the bathroom freshened up and got ready for bed as soon as my head hit that pillow guys i was out like a light and two seconds later i was in dubai this is the quickest flight i've ever had sleeping fully horizontal in the sky is crazy i get the hype because i've never felt so refreshed after a flight as soon as we came off the flight we had these buggies waiting for us to transport us all the way to baggage claim which was a bonus because dubai airport is so big honestly the whole experience was a 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend we collected our bags and then checked into our hotel so follow us to see what we get up to in dubai Just arrived guys at the hotel and it's so stunning. The lobby is eaten. We're just gonna get our stuff checked in and then freshen up and then we're gonna head out. Our first breakfast in Dubai. And look at this gorgeous view. <sighs> stunning, wow. So we've just checked in. Please mind my appearance right now. <laughs> but the apartment it's basically like a resident it's a hotel but it has some resident apartments in there so it's like literally the best of both worlds because apartments always have a lot more space um but we also still wanted the amenities of like a hotel because this has like it's like this is a whole resort and we're obsessed we literally were at the beach and it was just so nice and relaxing um let me show you a quick tour of our crib for the week so you walk in and then you're met with this little kitchenette to be fair this is a whole kitchen i love it it's like minimal really cute we've got some water just got just the basic necessities oven etc and then you walk in and then this is the living room it's so cute They've done so well um, with the decor and everything. Like it's really, really aesthetically pleasing and really, really like calming. Um, we've got a little mirror over here. A big mirror actually. This is the IKEA one that I've got in my house. So I'm really happy about that. I can get all my outfit videos, outfit pictures in here. And then this is the sofa. We have a gorgeous view. Oh, it's a little bit overexposed. I 
But yeah, I can't wait to unpack and just get ourselves situated, freshen up, and then we're gonna head out to the mall. Because we just wanna get a few things. And then we wanna go to Cheesecake Factory. We've literally been talking about Cheesecake Factory since the last time we were here. I wanna say it's one of my favorite restaurants, I can't lie to you. Like, why is it so good? I feel like they put crack in that, in the food. And in the drinks, oh my gosh, the strawberry slushy that they have at Cheesecake, top tier. Like, there's nothing I've ever tasted like it. So yeah, we're gonna freshen up and head out. Guys, we just popped into the Mall of Emirates. Um, we are getting some last minute bits that we forgot or like stuff that we didn't really have or couldn't get in time. So we're at Zara Man right now at the Mall of Emirates and it's looking really clean. Like look how nice the store is. So cute. These are our outfits actually, let me show you all. Just something clean. Simple, casual. casual. This is my new baggy from Giacomo's. I'm obsessed. Um, these trousers are from, from Bershka. No. These trousers are from, oh, cotton on actually. And then Giacomo's bag. And I can't remember what everything else is from, to be honest. And Gucci slides. We've got some really nice stuff, guys. Wow. Look at that set. I mean, it's kind of different, but look, the one with the green, and it goes with these shorts. These shorts. Okay, Zara was quite successful, actually. For me, anyway. <laughs> But um, we're gonna head to Mango and hopefully Val is still looking for trousers. Yeah, um, black cargoes. See some black cargoes, even though he already has some, but let's not talk about that. Um, you already know why I want to see. So. <laughs> People say that girls shop a lot, but men are just as bad. I shop a lot. <laughs> anyway, anyway. I, sh I shop a lot. Anyway, anyway. Are you okay? We're gonna try and go Mango, because I want to get some linen trousers, because you know, they're just staples, and I don't have any good ones. Yes, you do. You just bought some in. Linen trousers, babe. Yes. Where? You bought some when we went to, to the south of France. Oh, they're black though. I need cream ones. That's what ah, I'm saying. Women, yeah. Do you know how much I wear those people, black? People say like that women shop, and it's true. I don't know why people talk so much in other people's vlogs. I mean, since we got married, it's become our vlog actually. So. I guess, child. Anyway, we're looking for mango now. To be fair, um. I've, I got some really, really cute earrings. I think I showed you guys in the little overlay. I'm obsessed. I, and I've been looking for like nice gold earrings. Um, and then I got you a linen. And then I, no, but not chunky ones, okay? I just got <laughs> dainty ones. There's a difference. But, um, no. So let's see what Mango's given. Because so far, Zara, yeah, it did, it did its little, it no, did its it little thing. For me. For me. It's not for everybody. Wait, I think Mango was... Oh, and H&M, actually. Mm -hmm. Big move. Big move. The stretch. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake, but Cheesecake Factory, woohoo! This is literally the place that... This is the best drink you'll ever try in your life, guys. I'm not even joking. It's the frozen mango at Cheesecake Factory. And strawberry. 20 out of 10. Oh, and they put a bit of strawberry. Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, our food is here. Oh, I got the Korean chicken. And then Val got the spaghetti uh, bolognese. This looks so good. And we're going to share a little bit. So excited to eat. <sighs> My mouth is literally watering. Chicken. Mm. That is so good. We have to mix so it with good. the rice because I really have salt. But then oh, I just had the chicken. The, flavor of the, chicken <laughs> the chicken. Oh you've had some chicken slapped in it. I just had the chicken in as well. Mmm. 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 
Cheers, lads. Get the bibs off. This is so good. Every single time. That's great. Every single thing I've ever ordered from cheesecake to that. Yeah, I'll get that it. Imagine the chicken in a salad. Mm. <laughs> what the hell is that? Mm -mm. That is so good. That is so good. I'll be vegetarian if I don't taste like that. I don't understand it. I don't understand how it's so good. Guys, I wish you were exaggerating. Food is too good. I want to work at Cheesecake Factory. Just so I have the recipes and then leave. This is everything I just ever wanted. Easy to please, ain't ya? Bit of feed. No, like, Jumbo when he's at home, I was like, when I went down to a cheesecake factory, not even to buy. We need to find the nearest quick city that has a cheesecake factory. God, we did that. <laughs> the Mitchell, Mama Mitchell curve case. You're missing out big time. This is definitely my top five makeup products of all time, I would say. Just because of the versatility. It's got bronzers and blushes and all the blushes are, um, cream blushes are so nice and so pigmented. Especially for the price, like, oof. Highly, highly, highly recommend. If you don't have it already, and they're always they're always having sales on TikTok shop, so definitely check them out because it's just too good, too good. I'm obsessed with it, and I never really used to be like a blush girl like that, but this definitely converted me. It just adds so much warmth and depth to your face. Ten out of ten out of ten. And it blends out so nice as well. I don't want to go too bright on, on my under eye because um, I can already feel myself like I'm already tanning. So I don't want to look crazy. So I'm just using the HMB Soft Focus Concealer. Because my other one is just a bit too bright. I'm kind of like getting over the whole super, super bright under eye anyway recently so sometimes i just wear the chestnut concealer and call it a day like i don't actually add any more brightness under my eye because i feel like also my huda beauty powder have it in banana bread i feel like it's quite brightening anyway so i don't want to od it and then just look too much whereas when i keep it a bit more simple just a little bit more natural you know what i mean well natural <laughs> natural not that i want to look natural but i don't want to look crazy you know everything i was trying to put you on game but you want to play for you and your mama to the motherland i could do it maybe one day when you figure out you're gonna need someone when you figure out it's all right here in the city and you don't run from where we come from that sound like poetic justice poetic justice Grab pretty nicely if I do say so myself. But we are ready to go, honey. These are the earrings I bought from Zara yesterday, guys. Are they? That's it? Yeah. Cute, right? When I was buying them, he wasn't really sure, but. No, it was the other thing that. Oh, yeah, no, I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, we are on the way to Sand Beach Club now. It's not too far from our hotel, which is good. Um, our location is actually so good. There's literally so many beach clubs around. Um, Emirates Mall is not far as well, so 
if you guys are looking for a pretty central place um it is far from the main dubai mall though but if you're most more so looking to like just chill relax this is perfect location um but yeah this is actually at the marina and you can see all the yachts go by which is so nice but yeah i'm excited to go to san get some food they have oh, do you remember the food there last time yeah it was real good wasn't it do you remember the um not dumplings did you have dumplings i can't remember what they were called really but them. they no they were the food was 10 out of 10. i remember the prawns the prawns were so good oh yeah the the back the fried prawn yeah yeah Guys, I can't. I just I've been waiting to eat here since last year. Because yeah, yesterday, guys, we were playing Uno, and I absolutely smacked this dude. Like, I absolutely I'll... smacked one, two, <laughs> two games to one, and then you're like, one, oh, two games, guys. Because I don't want you to beat two him. Two games, and I never ever beat him. So hopefully, I can keep up the winning streak. But to be honest, to be fair, I feel like I'm like feeling said, very I, lucky. I did feel like it was necessary to like get your confidence up. But the thing is with me, yeah. That's the thing. If when guys lose games, they don't want to give you the like the accolades that you deserve. No, they want to pretend that I it can't. was on purpose. It was. Be so for real right now. It was. It was not. Like, genuinely, like I, like all of these years, like, there's not been many games that you've beaten. Yeah. Guys, he was so gutted when he lost. So don't gutted. let him lie to you that he did gutted. it on purpose. He I wanted to, like, to cry. I had to I whoa, literally whoa, whoa. ran. I Watch literally ran brand. all the way to the beach and back because I was just brand. so gassed. <gasps> Look at the view. So pretty. Wait, uh, anyway, maybe he can redeem himself. Maybe he can. Maybe he can redeem himself today. Okay, just keep. We'll keep, see. Keep this energy. Just keep this energy. I'm literally gonna milk it just as much as energy. possible until um, I win again. But yeah, you know you can't let me win. You actually. If you like it, because no one will ever hear the I last did. of it. No one That's will hear the last of it if I. And this is how this is the reaction I get. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys! Side note, um, my friend Kaj told us, uh, my friend Kaj that lives in Dubai. You've seen her quite a few times in the vlog. She lives in Dubai and she's telling us that Bryson Tiller is in town tonight. Don't, don't play with them. Don't be dishonest. And Kiz Daniel, they're both performing tonight at this beach club in the evening. So, um, managed to get. Um, well, it wasn't really a reservation, but they he basically they basically said you can walk in up until midnight. So we're gonna go tonight, have a little boogie. I'm so excited, and because sometimes um, going out and about in the evenings can be hit and miss. Like last time, I forced this guy to come out, and it was literally such a dead night, and I literally felt so bad. Mm -hmm. But tonight is obviously guaranteed to be lit because Bryson Tiller is performing. Like what? Um. And kiss Daniel, so that should be fun. So we have a whole. Do you know what? Sometimes, like when you don't have many plans, that's when it's like the vibiest. We've barely booked. I literally barely booked anything this trip. Just a few dinner reservations. We've just been going with the flow, which I am not a go with the flow kind of person. But it's been nice so far to just chill. So yeah, we'll see. I'll catch you guys up when we get to Sun Beach Club. Oh, look at this. The sun just glow up like my skin is just glowing. We made it to Sand Beach guys, it's so cool, just the vibes are immaculate, let me show you.
We are off to the rooftop for some chilled sunbathing, for sunbathing and just like general, just chill time. I've just got some sunscreen on, um, ready to just soak it all up. This is the look, this is the outfit of the day. These are the trousers I got from H&M yesterday and I love them. Well, the day, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? The day before. The day before yesterday. Just some linen trousers, my Jacquemus bag. Red velvet cake. Oh, this Dubai McDonald's, not London. This is amazing. <laughs> Nothing like this. Hi guys, so this is the Mackies we got. I got a Macarabian. I got a Macarabian fries, and we're just sitting here watching the boats go by. It's so lovely. What's the fries saying? Good. Hmm. And I got a caramel crap as well. Mm. So good. Let's try this. So I just dropped my frappuccino because I was trying to record for you guys. So hope you are enjoying this content. I mean, this does look pretty. Okay, taste test for this pizza. We are 
on the way to Amazonico, guys. I got ready so quick, but the week turned out so cute. And we have the Asante dress on today, the Asari dress in mini white. And she's eating. I'll show you guys probably later, but I'm so proud of this dress. Like, we really did that. Yeah. But yeah, we are on the way to Amazonico. And I'm just gonna have a nice dinner really. We have two full nights, we have two nights left, so kind of bittersweet, but yeah, trying to make the most of it. Today was just super, super chill. Like, we just literally stayed on the beach, um, just like chilled out. It was so nice. I've never had a holiday like this where, um, never had a holiday where like I'm literally just chilling and like zoning out. I haven't even posted any stories which is very different for me but I've been loving it so I'll see you at dinner <laughs> That would have ruined everything for you. Yeah. I just got home I am absolutely shattered mate but um it was such a fun night so I didn't tell you guys but tonight hmm, my hair is a mess hold on hold on hold on tonight was such a random night um we actually were hanging out with my husband's cousin and his friend um and then we came home and decided to like just chill out but i also had a, a friend from the uk that was her birthday tonight so um she basically said oh if you want to come and join our dinner like birthday dinner come through and i was like oh my gosh that'd be so fun um but my, my husband wasn't really like that on it because he was trying to hang out with his friend and his cousin but he's trying to hang out with his cousin so he was like do you know what you just go like enjoy yourself so i was like am i, am I about to have a solo night by myself in dubai like i was like do you know what? i've done a solo trip before i can do it again i could do a solo night in dubai why not and i went and it was so much fun guys it was actually so fun and i've been meaning to like i really wanted to go to this restaurant called opa for the longest time and i was like do you know what let's just do it i don't really want to like stay home tonight it's our, la our last like full night so i was like let's just do it it was so much fun guys how do you know the way i feel you got me losing my mind oh try to suppress my emotions they burst in like fountains, baby They take me up, they take me down I'm getting weak in my knees, oh I got nothing to allow you to show Genuinely, I had the time of my life. The girls were so sweet. 
um all her friends were lovely like oh it was such a nice night and the restaurant guys i would 20 out of 10 recommend that restaurant it's like a restaurant but it turns into like a whole party vibe which was really really nice um and if you're gonna go make sure you go late because make sure you have like a late booking so the booking was for 10 o'clock and it kind of finished around 1 30. it was so much fun like the the hosts and the staff are amazing um i'll show you some clips because i mainly recorded on tiktok as you can probably tell this holiday is more like a chill type of vibe like i've just been meaning to have a break for a long time and it's interesting because a break for me a break for most people like they go on holiday and that's a break for them but for me it's work like i'm always vlogging always taking content so this trip i was just like you know, i want to relax especially because it was for my husband's birthday i was like i just want to chill do what he wants to do and just like enjoy ourselves and honestly it's been one of, it's been such a I like it's been a much needed trip i've never really had a trip where i'm just literally chilling every day so it's been really nice but tonight yeah it was really fun to just be with the girls let our hair down it was so fun guys Oprah dubai 20 out of 10. if you guys watch my paris vlog um it was similar to that restaurant that we went to but yeah 10 out of 10 would recommend gonna sleep now i'm gonna take my makeup off just yeah have a i say an early night but it's 2 30 it's 2 20 a.m um to be fair, i slept like a similar time yesterday i've been sleeping so late but waking up also early um but because we're just chilling i'm like not super tired but it's our last four day tomorrow and i'm so sad i could do with another like one or two days if i'm honest but yeah it's been fun it's been so fun i'm ready to go home and just like work hard if you want to feel motivated come to dubai like look at this view right now that i'm seeing like how could i not wake up and want to get my ish together when i wake up to this view every day like it's literally crazy the views are crazy are you kidding are you kidding are you kidding, are you kidding? So yeah, Dubai is just one of my favorite places in the world, as you all know. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm waffling, I'm rambling. So good night, and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, you can grow mushrooms and I'll get quack. I took the coffee, I do that three more times again, I test the five of you. I put that like you, that bitch I do. Oh, that will probably get it. I'm not, long if you joking, now it's a me. I ain't got to follow better under you, I can't lose. Our food is here, guys. We got the New York cheesecake pancakes. That sounds so good and they look amazing. Calamari fries. Obviously, he copied me. <laughs> Guacamole, and then we just went in for our drinks. So that is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched all the way to the end, make sure to leave a palm tree emoji to let me know. And if you did, I love you all so much. I'll see you guys in my next video.